Howdy folks, we're going down a road that's a little less traveled perhaps. Uh, this is a Colonel Conk's uh, glycerin base soap. This one here is a lime scent. And yes, we're I've got the uh, matching lime aftershave also. Uh, don't see very many uh, Shave the Days or postings about the uh, uh, glycerin base soap. But this one here, depending on where you buy it, time of year, in other words, sales and whatnot, you can find something like this in a neighborhood, three to five dollars. Just depends on where you shop at. But uh, glycerin based soaps, like I say, a little bit less road traveled. So I thought today would be a good day for something like that. And along with the uh, this particular brush, it's still in production. I just haven't seen very much of it. This one here is a bore knot. Uh, might consider it a travel racer, considering how small it is. Uh, the Omega, I've got listing down below what the bottom looks like there's nothing there on the bottom but the uh, labeling is going to be really hard to see but it's right here it is not very big at all in other words fits in a travel case pretty easy i would say and got it whipped up here this this lime scent is for me i like lime <laughs> what can i say when it comes to a lime scent yes it's a, almost like a bay rum i could shave with it quite frequently and not get tired of it it's a, for me, my nose, it, it's a pretty nice scent. Later choice today, this is going to be Gillette 7 o'clock. This one here is the uh, Permasharp version. And I don't know if the uh, uh, mic is picking that up, but that's Thor, our cat. Uh, he's wanting in. He's not getting in this morning. It's too late. <laughs> Shaver of the day, this one here is a Merger 34G. In other words, gold. Uh, looks pretty nice. Um, has a nice shine to the top of it. If you have not shaved with a Merker 34 before, this one here is a... It fits right in the category that you, uh, I guess you might say, that if you've been wet shaving for a moment or just starting out, you see a number of uh, uh, Merker 34s, the uh, Edwin Jagger uh, DE89, those to fall almost pretty much in the same category that a number of folks that find to be a, a nice shaver to not only start with it but perhaps even to you know just stick with it in other words they're uh they're they're fit as, uh, it's in the sweet spot if you will where a lot of people enjoy shaving with it they're not too aggressive uh, maybe favoring the mild side of things but still something that most folks can shave on a regular basis a daily driver and not uh i guess you might say have uh issues with uh using it as a daily driver uh gold version uh I've got a link down below for the gold version uh prices when it comes to a gold marker they're <laughs> they're all over the map sometimes i mean this one here i think is going for about 40 bucks nowadays uh and uh, like I said, I got a link down below if you want to check it out. Uh, I've seen them go quite a bit higher too. Uh, this one here, in other words, at 40 bucks is pretty inexpensive compared to the prices I've been used to seeing. In other words, it's a lot more affordable nowadays than what it used to be. Uh, every once in a while, it kind of goes in a cycle in between uh, various websites where you find some great deals on these uh Modern razors has been around for a little while. Trying to try not to sneeze this morning. <laughs> it is Wednesday. Hoping to get this out in a timely manner. Sometimes life gets busy. Things don't go <laughs> as one would hope. I think I've probably already picked out all the uh, loose bristles. It lost a few this morning, but I uh, um, found this particular uh, sh shaving brush on uh, London Razors on an Etsy site. For uh, It's very inexpensive. They're, they also have a uh, synthetic one if you don't like a bore knot. Uh, both of them running for five bucks. That's, you can't get started much cheaper than that especially online there's not very many shaving brushes out there that are in the five dollar range they you have to catch them on sale and uh 
So you have to be digitally <laughs> looking at the websites in order to catch one as inexpensive. This one here, like I said, they also have a uh, a pretty decent looking uh, synthetic version uh, of a shaving brush that might appeal for mo to most folks. To me, uh, at, what can I say? Like I said before, this uh, this is easily a, a daily driver. I don't find it too mild. Definitely don't find it aggressive. You may have to match up to your blade that works best for you. But for me, it's a, it's a fine shaver. Especially a gold color like this. This is a this is nice. It's great. This blade works really well, at least for me, in this shaver. I did switch it up. Yes, I, I would, I could go with Persona every shave, <laughs> but uh, I, I thought I would switch it up something, a little different. I see uh, seven o'clock blades used from time to time. There's different versions. Uh, I think there's a total of four. I think there's two yellow, one green, and a black package. So there are different ones if you're interested in giving them a go. Uh, I wouldn't say they're the most inexpensive. Matter of fact, uh, these blades I picked up on sale. Uh, it's about the only time I buy these blades is when they're on sale, and I'm in a good sale. About the lowest that I've ever seen them. In other words, that's when I usually pick up a few. As you can kind of tell, shave's going pretty good so far. First time use with the brush, so it, <laughs> it lost a few bristles this morning when I was lathering in the bowl. But right now, so far, not seeing any more falling out just yet. I'm still able to smell the lime, which is pretty good. That doesn't always happen with my nose. Sometimes part way through the shave, I lose the scent. And I think it's more my nose as opposed to the soap. This particular uh, setup here feels really, I got a place right through here um, that the hair grows in different directions. And uh, sometimes when I'm shaving through there, I can tell how well it's going. In other words, if it's uh, going to be a little irritated through there or if I'm getting a good uh, good shave through there. And this one here, this setup, it went quite well right through there. In other words, the setup works well for me. But about like anything else, do what works best for you. I know my, my routine is a little different than, uh, I guess you might say, what might be considered traditional or preferred. Uh, I don't rinse my face completely. I do work the leftover lather back into the face. And also, while I'm doing this, I'm checking to see how the shave's going. And with this particular shaver, I could probably do a two-pass shave, but I would have to change the direction in other words, not my typical, you know, with the grain, across the grain, against the grain. I'd have to vary it in order to get a nice, smooth, uh, comfortable shave. I have to vary the direction on the on the second pass in order to catch all of it. Otherwise, there'd be just enough left over where I felt like I'd have to at least do a touch up, which goes back to my so we just go ahead and do a three pass shave at that point with what I'm feeling is left over right now. But that's my experience. Yours could be quite different. I've seen videos where folks have uh, used a 34, <clears throat> excuse me, and they end up with weepers and whatnot. I I don't think, I can't recall ever getting a weeper uh, with a Mercury 34. Like I said, for other folks, though, it'd be quite it's somewhat a different experience than what I've got. I 
as goes for the glycerin base oak i got plenty of slickness glide uh, <laughs> it works for me of course we'll go uh after the shave here we'll go with the allen block see what the allen block has to say seems like right now it's gone pretty good can't complain nice smooth comfortable i still am able to pick up the line so it's stuck in my nose maybe that <laughs> is possible it does happen from time to time The lime scent is, I guess you might say, might be considered a, pr a pretty basic scent, straightforward. I have had some, especially in the way of uh, aftershaves, uh, where you can kind of tell they've tweaked it just a little bit on the, what kind of lime there is. Pretty smooth. Can't really... Sometimes I could tell when I'm on my last... Uh, I can kind of tell whether I might have a spot that might be pretty sure it's going to be stinging. In other words, uh, not this case. Seems to be pretty good. Lime is not everybody's cup of tea. <laughs> it is me. Lime has been. It's kind of like, like say, the Bay Rum. It's one of those scents that I've liked over the years. Got just a little bit right here, just a little bit of stinging. But after that, everything's nice, smooth. Fantastic shave this morning. Humphreys, it <laughs> eventually it will get down to the bottom. Sometimes uh, it does seem like it may never get there. It's kind of like the olive block, it's like I've had it forever. Still using it, haven't dropped it yet. <laughs> uh, Steve Walker when he used to make YouTube videos remember years ago when he had dropped his and he had this little piece left that he's trying to work with <laughs> it's just you know interesting video I liked it thought it was kind of funny you know stuff happens okay on this particular uh, bottle uh, once again this Chrome Conk this one here is live there's lime, amber, and I want to, yeah, bay rum. I think I think that's the only three that's available. There might be another one. But anyway, this uh, opening is, you know, in other words, it's just glass, just an opening. There's no restrictor in there. I'm still trying to sneeze. Um, yeah, here we go. It does come with a little plastic stopper, if you will. You kind of see how it's made there. So if you wanted to leave that in there and poke a small hole in there, in other words, make your own restrictor, you could do such a thing. In other words, if this is a troublesome point on this particular bottle. I picked this one up a while back on sale. I think for six bucks. Uh, Superior Shave had it on sale. <laughs> I'm going to be smelling like a lime this morning. <laughs> so in other words, if you're kind of, you know, diligent, you can find these items on sale somewhat cheaper. I mean, face it, I think, i trying to remember how much I picked this up for. I think it was $5. It might have been 3 That's one of those two numbers where I got stuck in my head. And then, like I say, I picked this up for six bucks. You can't beat that. that. That's a great price. Like I say, I think the going price for this one here is near the $40 mark. And I don't remember my 100 pack of uh, Gillette's 7 o'clock uh, Permachart. But if I remember right, I picked these up pretty darn cheap also. Uh, in other words, bargain. This brush here, especially if you're like the small brushes like this one here bore brushes five bucks it's kind of hard one to beat and especially like if you got a young one that may not take care of their shave gear very well might start them out on something like that <laughs> instead of a real expensive brush anyway i had a great shave this morning hope everybody's doing well today stay healthy stay safe and smooth shaves to you